Hello and welcome to all my mariner friends. Let's discuss CLC Convention in detail. CLC, International Convention on Civil Liability for Oil Pollution Damage, 1969, amended in 1992. So, why this convention came? Torrey Canyon incident took place in 1967, huge oil pollution at UK coast, including France, about 190 kilometers, coastline affected. Cost of the cleanup was, about 3 million pounds this incident, forced the IMP, to work out an international compensation regime. To fix the strict liability, of compensation on the, ship owner. Initially, all burden was on ship owners only, 1969 convention, but in 1971, fund convention framed, this burden was shared by ship owners, and buyers. CLC 69 enforced in 1975, replaced by 1992 Protocol, adoption the 27th of November 1992, entry into force, 3th May 1996. Ship owner is liable for the oil spill originate from the ship. There are very few exceptions to this liability to the ship's owner in case of oil spills from their ships. There is a maximum limit of liability set out by CLC, according to the tonnage, of the ship. This limit will not be applicable if, the owner is at fault. Now the question arises: CLC convention applies where? CLC deals with oil pollution only, that is, pollution from persistent oil. Example, ship grounded in Jahu Beach, India. Authorities file the claim of 1.8 million used, for towage, and removal of oil. The claim was rejected, because it was a non-persistent oil. Application. CLC Convention applies to any pollution incident, that occurred either in the territory, and in territorial waters, of the contracting state. 12 nautical miles, from the baseline of the, contracting state. Also in the East of that state, that is 200 nautical miles, from the baseline of the state. I will give you some synopsis required for our exam. CLC does not cover, the pollution of the high seas. CLC covers all the three damages, made by the ship oil pollution. Such as, physical injury, psychological condition, and, loss of income. In, 69 conventions, only covered, till territorial waters but in, 92 protocol it covered exclusive economic zones, also. Ship must be in laden condition, which means actually carrying cargo, in bulk. Let me provide you, with some definitions, under CLC conventions. Definition of oil, as per CLC 69 convention, oil means, Persistent oil which does not, disperse in water, or evaporate, in air, such as crude oil, fuel oil, heavy diesel oil, lubricating oil, wheel oil, carrying as a cargo, or as a bunker. Definition of oil, as per CLC 92 convention, oil means any persistent, hydrocarbon mineral oil. That's why whale oil has been removed, and all are the same. Whale oil is not a mineral oil and there is a restriction, on hunting and catching, of whales. Persistent oil, persistent oils, are the one that persists, and do not dissipate easily. The liability conventions like CLC convention, fund convention, applies to the persistent oils only. Why? Because, the money required, for spill cleaning and containment of the persistent oils, will be too large. Non-persistent oil, non-persistent oil, will dissipate easily, and quickly through evaporation, and so these oils will not require any active response, to clean up. Non-persistent oil, is oil which, at the time of shipment, consists of hydrocarbon fractions, at least 50% of which, by volume, distills at a temperature of 340 degrees Celsius. And, at least 95% of which, by volume, distills at a temperature of 370 degrees Celsius. 
when tested by the AST method D8678 or any subsequent revision thereof. Definition of ship, as per CLC 92 convention, ship means any seagoing vessel, or craft of any type, which is constructed for carriage of oil, in bulk as cargo, or bunker. Only when it is carrying oil, in bulk but, if any oil residue present, on the ship in ballast voyage, including in CLC 92. Definition of owner, means, person registered as the owner, of the ship. Operator, or manager is not owner, in case of oil spill, because many states, or governments, are not mentioning, the operator, or manager name, on the registration. If a vessel, is owned by the state, or operated by a company, that become owner. Examiner may ask you. Who needs to pay, in case of pollution? Most of the cases, ship owner, as per Article 3. Paragraph 4, no claims, can be made against, the following, the servants, or agents, of the owner, or crew member, pilot, any charter, manager, or operator of ship, person performing, salvage operation, he has responder immunity. But, if pollution occurred, during bunker, salvage operation, the server is held responsible. So, it does not matter that the ship is a bare boat charter, or being handled, by the ship manager, the claim could only be made against, the owner. Next question. How much does the ship owner pay? There are three parts. Ship owner, is not to pay anything if, he proves that pollution resulted, from the act of war, or natural phenomena, or act of God. For example, vessel grounded, because engine fails, why engine fails, because fishing net entangled in propeller. There was no marking, of fishing net, in navigational charts. So, in such cases shared compensation, or no compensation. Ship owners need to pay, full amount when a ship owner, intends to cause damage, or an act of a ship owner, who knew that his act, would result in these damages, for example, ship owner trading, with expired trading certificate. Limits of liability of owner in CLC 69 For any, one incident to an amount 2000 francs, for each ton of the ship's tonnage. If any, event does not exceed 210 million francs. If, the ship owner has actual fault, or knowledge of it, he cannot limit his liabilities. If, ship owner does not fall in above, to category of liabilities in any one pollution incident, would be limited to 4.5 msdr4, vessels up to 5000 GRT. Vessel greater than 5000 GT, and less than 1,40,000 GT then, 4.5 msdr plus extra 631 sdr tons of extra GRT. Maximum liability will not be more than 89.77 msdr. Next question. What is the time limit, for the affected state, or person to get the compensation? The answer is, Article 8. Within three years, from the date when, the damage occurred. In no case, shall an, action be brought after six years, from the date of the incident, which caused the damage. To file a case, both conditions must be valid. Next question. What the owner needs, to do to ensure that, his ships are not arrested, by the claimant. To ensure, the ship is not arrested, he needs to constitute, an equal to his liability, as per CLC convention. The money should, already be in the possession of the court. Article 10 states that the judgment, given by the court, of the state, where the case is being performed, to another contracting state, has to be recognized, by the same judgment. Where the option of compensation, can be bought, as per Article 9, of CLC 92, action can be brought, in any of the countries, that was affected by the pollution. Next question. Difference between CLC 69 and 92. In 69, they does not talk about, 
the environment. Talks about, only clean up. In 92, impairment of environment cost, is there with limitation, for such compensation. In 69, this convention shall apply, exclusively to pollution damage, caused on the territory, and territorial sea of a contracting state. In 92, it includes ease, of contracting state also. If the contracting government, has not defined, their zone beyond the territorial sea, then as per UNCLO, 200 nautical miles from Baseline. In 69, there is limit. In 92, there is no geographical limit, for the preventive measure. In 69, if there is no pollution, means preventive measures, are so effective that oil, has not gone outside, the ship then no compensation, for such preventive measures. In 92, if preventive measures, are carried out, so effectively no oil goes out, in that case compensation, will be there. Let me explain you three tiers of CLC. Tier 1, CLC 92, applicable to EZ 451, 631, 8977 SDR. Up to, 5000 GT. 4.51 million SDR, 5001, 1,40,000 GT equals million 4.51 SDR plus 631 SDR per GT, 1,40,000 above equals 89.77 million SDR. Tier 2, Fund 203 million SDR and 300.74 million SDR, 3 states import 600 million tons of oil then 203,30074. Tier 3, Supplementary Fund 750 million SDR, no need to fill separate claim form, for Supplementary Fund. When Tier 2 is introduced, the burden goes towards the receiver, so, to balance it then came Stopia and Topia. And what is Stopia and Topia, I will explain you in another video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. I will be adding more videos on fund and supplementary fund later.